Hidden Knowledge presents 25 times the systems have accurately predicted the future. Number 25. In the episode titled Itchy and Scratchy the Movie, there is a scene which shows a way over the top billboard promoting the film which has Itchy hitting Scratchy over the head with the camera as blood comes out of his ears and splatters all over the place. Oddly enough, a similar billboard was created for the film Kill Bill Volume 1 in 2004. Number 24. In Treehouse of Horrors number 19, Homer takes to the polling booth to cast his vote for Barack Obama, only to have it changed to McCain by a faulty voting machine. Fast forward to the 2012 election. Obama vs Romney. A Pennsylvania voting machine was removed for doing the same exact thing, changing people's vote from Obama to Romney. Number 23. In the episode titled EIEI Doe, Homer takes a shot at farming, and when he fails to make anything grow, he takes extreme measures and uses nuclear materials to create a hybrid tomato and tobacco plant. Tomaco. Some believe this prediction was fulfilled when mutated vegetables started popping up in surrounding villages near the Fukushima power plant meltdown. Some of the mutated vegetables included cabbages, corn, and of course, tomatoes. Number 22. In the episode titled Sweet Seymour Skinner, A Badass Song, there is a scene in which we can see the lunch lady making a stew which includes a secret ingredient, assorted horse parts. Fast forward to 2013, we have a horse meat scandal in the UK. Products sold by Birdeye and other suppliers tested positive for traces of horse DNA. As does Sodexto, yet another supplier was also implicated in the scandal, and they were responsible for supplying many schools in the UK with meat. Number 21. In the episode titled Hungry Hungry Homer, we have Homer accidentally stumbling onto a plot to discreetly move the Isotopes baseball team to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Move forward two years to 2003, when the Calvary Canyons moved to Albuquerque, New Mexico and held the contest to name the new team. And of course, as you might have guessed it if you already didn't know, Isotope won by a vote of 67%. And of course, this was totally influenced by the Simpsons. But still, the Simpsons deserve at least half the credit on this one. Number 20. In the episode titled Bart Carney, Bart is excited about playing a yard work simulator, while Marge is quick to point out that he has no interest in whatsoever in doing actual, real yard work, which many people find similarities in with the popular game Farmville, which was a game that was at one point an internet craze and had everyone virtually farming, when in reality they had absolutely no desire to farm at all. Number 19. In the episode titled Lisa's Wedding, it's an episode which is centered around a fortune teller giving Lisa a vision of the future and her future fiance in the year 2010. As a quick note, this episode is very interesting as this episode alone features 5 of the 25 predictions on this list. First of which has Lisa's future fiance issuing a command to his watch. And in 2013, Samsung introduced their line of smartwatches which features S-Voice, which allows for voice commands. Number 18. In the episode titled Brother Can You Spare Two Dimes, which features Herb, Homer's previously unknown brother is trying to pick up his life after his first encounter with Homer, which resulted in him losing his vast fortune. Homer lends Herb some money as an apology. With the money, Herb builds a successful invention that translates what babies are saying into actual words their parents could understand. Flash forward to 2013, Cry Translator claims to allow you to translate your baby's cry and lets you know why your baby is upset. Number 17. In the 1983 episode titled Springfield, Mr. Burns opens a casino in Springfield, which features a parody act of the real life Siegfried and Royd. During their performance, the White Tiger attacks them, which unfortunately became a reality in 2003 when one of the Tigers critically injured Roy during one of the performances at the Mirage Casino in Las Vegas. Number 16. In another scene in the episode Lisa's Wedding, we have Lisa calling Marge on a video phone and having a conversation very similar to what would eventually be known as FaceTime in 2010, which of course was introduced by Apple. This one is an extremely accurate prediction as both FaceTime was released in 2010 and the episode is set in a futuristic 2010. Number 15. In the episode titled Lisa Sachs, we have a scene where Mark shows a book to Bart in reference to the Ebola virus, and Bart is pointing to a drawing where he is dead. Some people point to this as the foreshadowing for the 2014 Ebola outbreak that captured the attention of the world, as they struggled to contain it in Africa. However, it is important to note that there had been other smaller outbreaks in the 70s.
Number 14. And yet another prediction from the episode titled Lisa's Wedding, we have robot librarians. While in real life, as of 2016, we have a working prototype for just that, robot librarians. While not humanoid yet, still pretty close. Number 13. In the 23rd season of The Simpsons, we had an episode titled Lisa Goes Gaga, where we had Lady Gaga paying a visit to Springfield. During the episode, Lady Gaga performs while suspended on wires, very similar to her 2017 Super Bowl halftime performance. However, it is important to note that Lady Gaga voiced herself during the episode, so she certainly saw the episode, so she could have just easily have taken from her character's performance and incorporated it into her real life performance at the Super Bowl, but that is purely speculation as Gaga has never confirmed this. Number 12. In another prediction from the episode titled Lisa's Wedding, we have Lisa lying in bed with her future fiance, and we can see a poster in the background in the wall that reads 2010 Rolling Stones Tour, which pokes fun by calling it the wheelchair tour. Since by most accounts the Rolling Stones should have been retired by then, However, while they didn't have a tour in 2010, they did have one in 2012, fulfilling this prediction that they would be alive and touring at their advanced age. Number 11. In the episode titled Limit of Troy, we have the children of Springfield waging war on the children from a neighboring town, Shelbyville, which results in the Springfield lemon tree being stolen, and the plot in suits to get it back. In 2011, somebody had the bright idea to steal a real-life lemon tree for an unknown reason, it is unknown whether it was a joke or there was some other ulterior motive. Number 10. In the episode titled, You Don't Have to Live Like a Referee, it is centered around corruption in FIFA. In the beginning of the episode, we have a scene that has a FIFA official speaking to Homer regarding corruption in FIFA. He holds up a magazine that reads, a Scandal in FIFA. Then he says he's about to be arrested himself, then out of nowhere, he is arrested. In 2015, a criminal investigation was launched against FIFA, which resulted in charges against 14 people, which included 9 current and former FIFA executives, of which 7 were arrested. Number 9 Yet again in the episode titled Lisa's Wedding, we have a shot of the world-famous clock tower Big Ben, and in the background we can see the shadow of an Ali-shaped building that looks very similar to the shape and location of the Shard. However, the shard wasn't designed until the year 2000 and didn't begin construction until the year 2009. Number 8 In the episode titled Papa's Got a Brand New Batch, we have Homer starting his own security company after he's dissatisfied with the performance of the police department following a blackout. He eventually cracks down on mob boss Fat Tony and his scam to glue cotton balls onto ferrets and pass them off as toy poodles. A plot so comedically ridiculous surely it couldn't come true, however it did in 2013. The Huffington Post reported that such a scam was going on. Argentinian pet dealers were selling furry ferrets and weasels and trying to pass them off as toy poodles. Many people fell victim to the scam. Number 7 In the episode titled Deep Space Homer, NASA is concerned with a decline in public interest in space exploration so they decide to send an ordinary person into space, an average Joe, or in Homer's case a below average. It is reported that the writers of The Simpsons argued over this episode because they believed it was too far-fetched for people to believe that an average Joe would be able to become an astronaut and go into outer space. However, this ended up being the case for real-life average Joe, Oliver Knight, who beat out 87,000 applicants to land his dream job as a real-life astronaut and will be able to go into outer space. Number 6 in the 2007 Simpsons movie, there is a scene where they are returning in a train to Springfield after being on the run from the government. Lisa tells Marge that they should not be so loud when speaking. Marge replies by telling Lisa that it's not like the government is listening. Then it cuts to NSA headquarters where you can see all the agents listening to everyday conversations. Fast forward to 2013, Edward Snowden leaked and exposed the NSA spying program that showed they were wiretapping citizens without the proper warrants. Number 5 in the episode Lord of the Dance, Homer and partners up with Bart to make a small fortune stealing the school's cooking grease. A ridiculously hilarious plot that oddly enough played out in real life by real life thieves in New York. When two thieves were caught stealing cooking oil from a 45 gallon drum at a restaurant which had a street value of an estimated $1 per gallon. Number 4 The episode titled Whacking Day was an episode that revolves around a fictional holiday, Whacking Day in which Springfield citizens drive snakes into town square and club them to death. Ultimately, Lisa convinces the townspeople that snakes deserve to live, which serves as a message against animal cruelty. 
However, it seems not like everyone got the memo. As in 2013, Florida held what they called the Python Hunt, and they gave away prices. One for the longest python caught or killed, which received $1,000, and $1,500 for the most caught or killed. Number 3 In the episode title Homer's Odyssey, we see the first appearance of Blinky, a three-eyed orange fish, which has mutated due to the power plant's radiation. Later on in the season, he makes yet another appearance, this time as March's main dish in her plan to sabotage Mr. Burns run for office. Surprisingly, in 2011, a fish with the same three-eyed mutation was pulled from a reservoir that received water from a nuclear power plant in Argentina. Number 2 In the episode titled The City of New York vs. Homer Simpson, which features the Simpson family traveling to Manhattan to recover the family car, which was taken by Bernie Gumbel and abandoned outside the World Trade Center. This is a very controversial prediction, as Lisa holds up a magazine with a big number 9 and the World Trade Centers forming the numbers 11. And as we all know, on September 11, 2001, we had a horrific terrorist attack on the Twin Towers, which killed thousands of innocent people. Number 1 This last one is a bit tricky, but bear with me. In the year 2000, we had an episode titled Bart to the Future, where we find out Lisa has become President of the United States, and she's having a meeting regarding the financial state of the country, and she has this to say about it. Quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How crunch from President Trump. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? We're broke. While this does indeed predict the Trump presidency, there has been a lot of false information regarding this episode. For example, these images have been going around which show Trump waving and standing in front of a podium, which is very similar to real life events, as it should be, since this animation wasn't created until after the events had already taken place. The images are taken from the internet animation that was released by Fox in July 2015, from an animation named A Trumptastic Voyage. Secondly, people claimed that the electoral map was predicted accurately, which is also false, as this was taken from a separate clip. Mr. Byrne endorses Romney, which had nothing to do with the Trump election. But with all that said, as I already stated, the Simpsons did accurately predict the Trump presidency, just not in the epic fashion many want you to believe. Hello everyone, JC here. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We upload new videos every single week. I'll catch you guys on the next one.